Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Stellaris Console Edition Season 3. It's been a hot minute since I recorded this series last. This week I've been extremely freaking busy. I am currently recording this live over on Twitch. I'm going to include my Twitch link in the description if you guys want to check out whenever I'm recording Stellaris over there, or doing any other, any other kind, I should say of live recordings, because I do want to do more over on Twitch. I want to record a lot more of my content over there. Uh, or stream it when I'm recording, I mean. And kind of just diversify a little bit. YouTube's a pain. But, yeah, you know. Here's it is. But welcome back, guys. So, for anybody who does not remember, because uh, it has been a hot minute since the last episode, we found these guys. They were on a list of um, other races that some kind of weird like, carnivore or cannibalistic, whatever kind of race was eating. And, uh, I don't remember what... Oh, yeah, yeah. We also had, uh, one of our scientists disappear. He just up and... Vamos. He fucking disappeared. I don't know what the fuck happened to him, but, yeah. Motherfucker peaced out. So, yeah. That's what happened last time. So, go ahead and just turn this on. And, yeah. We shall, uh, see what's going on. So, I'm not totally sure what the plan will be for today... Um, I'm kind of having to change up what my plan was originally. Originally, I was supposed to record the, um, mini-series with my brother, but, uh, we had a lot to do after work, so he kind of just passed out after we were done streaming as well. It's I celebrated, or I should say, we all celebrated 200 subscribers on the channel today, which is freaking amazing. Thank you guys so much for that. That was incredible. And I really, really freaking appreciate that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the mining situation sorted, so we don't end up running any issues. Um, these two systems will more than pay for those mines. So let's go ahead and send him there. And we'll also send this one down here. And our science ship is currently doing a fat lot of nothing. So you, go over here. See what there is to see. And just a reminder for you guys, for anybody who's new to the series, as a thank you for the support on the channel, I always leave my campaigns open to people to name a ship, have a character, or anything like that, just for some more interaction with you guys, so you guys can feel like you're a part of the the series, and just so you guys can feel a bit more connected on the channel as well, because you guys are more than just numbers to me. You guys are all, like, individual people. You're all freaking amazing people. Uh, Wonderlust, dead end. The department head is not in this system. Either the lead was a dud, or the trail has gone cold. Okay, so he's not here. Well, since we're here, hey, it's not our fault that the man decided to freaking up and, you know, piss off somewhere. So, yeah, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. Okay, so between these two systems here, these are going to be 10 credits, which will, again, more than pay for what we're spending on these systems, or on these stations, I should say. So that is honestly very really good. What are you? What are we research? Physics research. Nice. Alright, so what are we actively researching? Okay, I see. Um, I think we should kind of go for economic development and then move towards military. Wait, actually, what is our empire? What are we this time? We are fanatic militarists. Never mind. Because I had a whole lore created for these guys. If you guys uh, haven't seen that, I'll include the um, the season playlist, which includes the um, the making of this faction, and as well include the other seasons, of the, the playlist of the past seasons as well. So, investor, champion of the people, careful craftsman. Um... Yeah, I guess according to our lore, we should kind of focus on military. If you guys have any... Whoa, that's going to be <laughs> too fucking long. Alright, if you guys have any opinions you want to share or any like RP lore you want to add, like I said, go check out the, um, the creation video and, you know, kind of just give your feedback if you want. Share your thoughts on this. I am always open to it. Alright, so we have an industrial district going in. We have a bunch of wastelands being cleared. Can we do much of our capital for now? 
Alright, so what's going on down here? We have a research ship right here. Alright, so we already have some trade value in the system. Which is good, because we're going to need it. Now, I believe we have some trade value in other places, too. Yeah, we have a 7 right here. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure I said last video, we're going to work on the economy as well. Make sure we got a good, strong one going. So that way we don't have too many issues going on. Anomaly found. Anomaly found. We're receiving a weak signal from the surface of this planet. This source appears to be some kind of tracking beacon. Yes, investigate. You know, that could be like a little story right there. Like, maybe the beacon was left by the head of our research department before he, uh, buggered off over how he went. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, so this in this cluster alone, we have, uh, 12. 12 credits. Which is nice. Complete. We'll just barely break even, because we have 51 credit income before. So we're going to just barely, ever so barely, break even and make a profit on what we've lost with the expansion. Oh, we're at 39. Yeah. We're not going to make a lot off that. Construction complete. Ancient survey marker. Very nice. Nice. You're going down there. Anomaly found. Uh, no, that can wait. Actually, wait, you? You go up here, build me those. Yeah, construction complete. No, no, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. So there's five here. That's actually pretty good. Now, I'm going to be recording these back to back because it was supposed to be two stars videos going up, but as I said, my brother went to sleep. After work, so I'm just gonna do a double upload of this season and go from there. Okay, so this is actually really good. This will definitely get us back up there in the green a little bit because, yeah, this is uh, on the pricey side. I don't want to fill these up anymore until these jobs are full. Because technically, you don't have to build stuff just because you have a build slot. You can't wait until there's actually, you know, a need for jobs. So I might start doing that, just so we limit how much we're spending. Because I feel like that makes the most sense to me. Okay. Wow, our researcher is still up here. Oh, yeah, he's researching that, uh... Oh, no, wait, he already did. Never mind. Never mind, ignore me, I'm just stupid. Hmm, slightly stupid. Not very, though. I'm always slightly stupid. What's over here? We only have one planet, and we're already got factions forming. Okay, then. What kind of planet are you? Do we have any idea? Oh, it's an ocean world, and we do have an ocean preference. So that is very nice. I'll just send a research ship out there soon. Oh, speaking of which, this one's just sitting here. Alright, then. Get out there. Survey this planet. I mean, we should probably try to find our research head still. And you know what? Nope, my controller's dying. The only downside to being a console gamer, well, besides low quality, is uh, I have to manage my controller dying quite regularly, which is a pain sometimes. But that's just a given. I'm going to trust that my controller is charging. Uh, we have another faction. Xeno A F Foundation. Their members have been pushing hard for friendly relations with alien species. I don't actually remember what we did or not. Drumbeat of Victory Party. Their members have been pushing hard for our military domination over the rest of the galaxy. Okay, so those two are going to be in complete con um, conflict with each other. System what is our first contact protocol? Cautious. Okay, so we're not hostile one way or the other. We're just more wary of of other nations than anything else. 
Oh, you were doing Discovery Tree. Okay, I see. So what do you do? Racer station output increased. Okay. Experience level gain. Let's do this one. Nice. So that's that. Okay, so our researcher, our no researcher, our science ship is done what he was doing. Let's go ahead and send him this way. Now this would be great for mining, but at this point we don't really have a necessity for a lot of mining. Because right now we are just trying to get our economy back up. 27 is still pretty good. Right now we need credits. That's the main thing, we need credits. No credits means less money. Less money means we in big trouble. Hmm, so there's a four right here. And this world isn't good for much, but city districts do produce a certain amount of trade, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe we make that one a trade world. A remarkable array of gases are being vented. Hmm. That's very cool research, actually. Oh yeah, trade value and amenities. So if we turn this planet into a trade world... Oh yeah. That's a lot. This could easily help our economy stay pretty damn strong. We'll see what this one is. Let's go from there. Right, so you're on your way. You should be just about done. Alright, cool. Ooh, hello. Hmm. Joanna and her crew made a surprising discovery. The molten planet is home to... Ooh, it's all array of... Microscopic organisms. These bacteria live deep inside volcanic vents. Ooh, that scarred a planet. Thriving at extremely high temperatures produced there. It's pretty cool. Oh, we get a lot of gases. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna want that. Because anybody doesn't know, if you haven't seen Solaris or played it or anything like that, these give all kinds of really good bonuses. Construction complete. Sweet. Alright, you go ahead and start building those mining stations there. We need those credits. As soon as the science ship is done, we'll, uh... Um... I guess maybe we should invest in a third science ship. Yes, that's usually what you need. You usually need at least two to start the game with, three at most, just so you can kind of explore fast and expand a bit quicker. So I'm thinking we need to get a science ship. We still have some of our ships producing for the fleet, which is great. Let's go ahead and grab a... Here we go. Science ship that I'll be building as soon as the corvettes are done. Okay, we're not doing too bad. We have a good stockpile of credits. Let's go ahead and buy some alloys. Yeah, try to keep at least 3k in the bank. And we're actually nearing capacity for our ships. You can go, you can go over your capacity, but it'll cost you way more to maintain them if you do that. So, it's good to usually try and keep within your your balance. Oh, wow. This is a tropical... Oh, no, it's an ocean world. I thought it was a tropical. Oh, I just read it a few minutes ago. What the fuck am I saying? Wow! And agriculture. Okay. You know what? Maybe this one should be our trade capital. Because that is... Holy... That's crazy. What are we doing this one? Um... No, maybe we'll colonize this one right away. Because that one's not as impressive as this one. This one is way bigger. We could produce so much trade off that. Holy shit. Holy crap baskets. Okay, so we're going to wait for our construction ships. And then we're going to go ahead and um, snatch up that planet. Okay, so I want you to start going down here. I want to start getting to this planet here. Or the system, I mean, so we can see what the heck is going on. Oh, our new science ship. Awesome. Hmm. 
Ah, oh, here we go. Now, I just noticed the UI change. The game updated just a little while ago. I want to say... Uh, either this month or earlier... Or before the end of the last month. I'm not totally sure. Construction. But it didn't update in pre preparation for the PC expansion that came out a while ago called um, Overlord, I believe. I don't have Overlord right now. I'm actually short a few DLCs, but... I know I got a lot of the fe um, the free features from Overlord, which is pretty cool. Dude, didn't I tell you to build? You know what? I'm actually not totally sure over there now. I may have just told him to go there. I don't know. Snatch this up. Complete. Okay, so nothing overly crazy there. Let's have our science ship. Yeah. You know what? Actually, actually, you're fine. Survey that and survey that. I want to know which one of these is going to be strategic points. So I can block off any aliens. Right here is strategic already. Like, they have to kind of come through here. Actually, no, it's not really that strategic. Too many connecting hyperspace lanes. But if we can grab up here and here, then these two will pretty much secure our, uh, what would this be? Like, Mm, west, kind of north. Nah, that'd be our west. Like our western border. And down here, eh, again, too many connecting lanes. But right here, no, that's actually too many as well. Depending on your playstyle, you want to find strategic points to protect your your border so you don't end up having people bypassing defenses. One, that's one of the big things I made mistakes on on the early days when I used to play. When I first played this game, I used to think, oh, okay, well, this right here, they have to come through here and get past my station. Well, that's the thing. They did, and then went right past it, because I never had them set up properly. So, found. highly irregular gravitational readings surround this planet. Please, go ahead and research. I am very curious. So, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and catch up with you guys in a little bit, once some stuff has progressed. Mm, what's this? Gravitonic abnormal abnormalities. Bleh. In studying the bizarre readings surrounding the planet, the crew of the ISS Taipuk, the Evernist, oh, and the Ernest, my mistake, I discovered that the entire system's gravitonics are off the charts. Okay, then. Science officer, uh, Bemelin suspects that the planet's gateway is somehow interfering with our sensor data. Oh, interesting. Situation log updated. Complete. All right, so we got m more strategic resources, volatile malts. We have quite a bit in this area, not as much as I thought, but still quite a bit. Construction complete. Okay, so I don't want to research the gateway. Okay, we can do that w once we are done with strategic resources. You know, we'll just grab the credits for now, and we'll s oh. we're picking up life signs coming from somewhere within the interior of this asteroid. Oh, yeah, go ahead and investigate that. I'm very curious on that. What's living inside of an asteroid? That is definitely interesting. All right, so we're gonna grab up those credits. What's our, our science ship doing currently? Fat lot of nothing. You are just sitting there. What the heck are you doing? Oh yeah, right. I wanted to get him closer to this, so we can see if the frickin' uh, science chief is down here. 
Alright, so how are we looking on the capital? Yeah, you know what? Not looking too bad. Hmm. Gonna need some more jobs soon. What do clerks do again? I don't totally remember. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Crap! Dead end. Oh, dang it. I messed up. Oh, yeah, this isn't good. Actually, no, wait. I think we're fine. I think. I think we're fine. I don't know how badly I just messed up. I actually didn't mess it that bad. We're good. We're good. Okay. Alright, so that was a dead end. That's wonderful. So that leaves only one place left to check. Construction complete. Du -du -du. Well, I guess I'll just have you freaking start surveying back up towards the border. I mean, you're already here, so might as well. Construction ships. You guys are doing fat lot of nothing right now, but that's how I need you. Alright, so let's go over here. And colonize this world. Actually, uh, oh, hello. What is this? Life forms living on LR92079 were nothing like we expected. Our scientists report back that the asteroid has crystal growths. Oh, okay. These growths have turned out to be self sustaining and caused. Hmm. But a crystal is taken in the abundant radiation. Oh, okay. I don't know if this is a new one or not. Wait. Edible. What? Hold on a second. The crystals themselves are primarily made and could potentially e <laughs> mm. Yeah, you know what? I'm good. I don't think I wanna feed our people crystals. I mean minerals are good for your body, so Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, you know what now we're not gonna we're not gonna eat them. That is very, very curious. I don't know if that's a new... I don't know if that's a new event or not, though. I've not gotten that one before. So that is, uh... That's a new one. Okay, so how are we looking at here? Okay, that's right on the border. More credits. Nice. Okay. Food is... Found. Oh. Colossal creator hints that something big collided with the surface of this planet once. Huh. So you're telling me that a big ass hole in the ground of a planet indicates that something at some point in time hit this planet. Very, very informative. Complete. Mm, I don't want to increase the fleet anymore right now. Since we are doing... <coughs> since we are doing pretty well on alloys and credits, I feel like we should start going ahead and increasing our naval capacity. So I kind of have a designated shipyard and a naval yard. So, let's see here. I feel like the Navy Yard would be a good place here. This is kind of a strategically important system in the core because, well, this is 14 minerals. I, I know we do look like we're low on them right now, but that's because I messed up and actually changed um, worker priority. So instead of having all of our mining jobs and stuff like that full, I actually filled out our clerk jobs. So, yeah. Not the, uh,. Not the best thing, but hey, it's producing more trade value, so I guess I can't complain too much about that. So let's go ahead and just uh, upgrade that, and we'll make. Mm, oh, hey, actually, collision. A large mineral-rich asteroid collided with Turius at some point during the previous thousand years. Plus free minerals. Very nice. 
Let's go ahead and ink. Scientific breakthrough oh. achieved. Now what we got? Okay, we got a lot of stuff popping up. Dang it. Oh, I actually clicked off that. Okay, hold on. We're gonna pause. Food processing. Mm. How many agricultural slots do we have on some of these planets? Not a lot on that one. And about the same on this one. But I want this one to be a trade world. Because this is freaking crazy amount of city districts. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and upgrade that. As for food processing... Uh, I mean, I don't really see the harm in it. Yeah, let's do it. A new archaeological site. Any other rock. Okay, then. The service of Yota B.I. is devoted <laughs> is devoid of all life. However, there is indications of previous thriving biosphere. Hmm. Okay. I'll have to come back and investigate some of these. At another point when we have time. But for now, I just want to figure out strategic points and where the best places are going to be to protect our empire. This barren and lifeless world is showing signs of once having supported the biosphere. Okay, didn't we just... Wait a sec. That's a dick site. Oh! Toxic world. Hold the fuck on a second. So this used to be signs of a biosphere. And this one has signs of a biosphere? Interesting. I wonder if the two are connected. Hmm. Let me just click on that. Okay, so wait a minute. All three of these worlds... You're telling me all three of these worlds? I guess these two and its moon? Terraforming candidate. Uh, but okay. Yeah, I definitely got some new events in the update. So, oh okay, yeah, oh, this is actually pretty damn cool. These are definitely new up new events. I've not had these in, eh? Okay, that's cool. That is very cool. Anomaly found. Ah, uh, we are. Hmm? Uh, we can't research that right now because our scientists are way too low of level, and we're gonna be sitting here way too freaking long if we do. Let's take a look at civilian ships. See who's being lazy. Anyway, construction ship can't really do much right now. Um, I think we're doing good on discovery right now. I kind of want to get expansion because we are going to start expanding our colonies here soon. So we're going to get that one. The cool thing about Solaris is you can go down any of these tree slots and not have to worry about finishing one exactly. You can just you know, get some perks from this one, move on to another one. That's any of any of these. So that is one of the things I really enjoy about Stars. It's it's got a lot of freedoms. Uh land of provocation. Uh, I'm not worried about any of this right now. Alright, so we're currently pushing half an hour. So I think it's gonna be long enough for this episode. I do have to go and do some other stuff off of YouTube. And off of Twitch right now, so uh, this isn't as long as I'd like to be streaming for today. It's only half an hour, but that is fine because you know, everyone's got busy lives. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get the construction ships moving. Um, you know what, dude? Go ahead and just start grabbing up all of this physics research because we've got plenty of credits coming in now we've got um, six right here that are more than paid for the uh, research stations as well as I think our workforces are getting rebalanced down here yeah okay we got five on the mines so once the mining jobs are full they'll start filling in the uh, technician jobs and then we'll start making even more money so that will be absolutely wonderful so we're going to go ahead and end this here. This is kind of more of a just exploration episode today, guys. As Oh, wow. Okay. Seven. Absolutely freaking perfect. That'll definitely cover the cost of expansion. Construction complete. What did we just finish building? Oh, okay. You know what? This is absolutely perfect. This is a great way to end it right here. 
Alright, so, with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, for those of you guys watching it on the YouTube side of things, hit the like button, consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'm going to include my Twitch channel down below, and for anybody who joined me over on Twitch, <coughs> thank you guys so much for checking out the stream. I am going to try and do more live recordings here on Twitch as well to kind of grow my following here, so if you guys want to stay tuned and uh, see what kind of games I play and what I uh, will also be streaming, feel free to hit the follow button, and if you want to check out my YouTube channel, my channel should be in my Twitch channel description, if you guys uh, want to go check out my YouTube channel as well, see what I do over there, check out some of the shorts I've done, and random bullshit I do over there. But, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next